Parks are designed to be protected pieces of nature, a getaway from the faster pace of city life. Now, however, some activists are worried these spaces are in jeopardy. Late last month, the Park Amendment Act was passed, a piece of legislation protesters say would make provincial parks free game for industry. A little rain wasn't going to stop Carissa Callahan. She and a dozen other people walk the highway this weekend, armed with many signs and one message. I grew up here. I've seen how many people spend their, you know, summer days at the lake, and those are provincial parks. And you know, with this potential industrialization, it would, it would affect those parks, and it would change, it would, you know, change the cleanliness. It would change the boundaries. They're protesting Bill 4, or the Park Amendment Act, which was passed by the B.C. government March 24th. Activists are concerned its vague language leaves the door open to mining and other industrial activities on provincial parkland. They're now allowed to grant permits to commercial companies to do feasibility studies in the park, and that would mean that they could check for mineral deposits and the actual richness of the environment, which in turn they're allowed to take to the council. And a new clause in the bill says that based on the uh, results of these studies, they're able to then further change park boundaries. The goal was to get people to take notice, and while there was no shortage of honks, smiles, and even a kiss, the message is serious and the concern is real. It's very likely that the reason for this bill being rushed so quickly is because of the approval for the Northern Gateway project and the Keystone Pipeline as well. They are ready to go through parks in order to do, of course, the quickest route from A to B to get to where they want to go. The protest started in front of MLA Mike Morris's office, who says the organizer has yet to contact him. They're our voice and they're supposed to represent our opinions. I mean, I think the reaction is an overreaction. I've been involved in the discussions uh, leading up to the introduction of the bill and I was sat in, in the house while the bill was being debated and I love the outdoors and I love our parks as much as anybody else and, and nothing has triggered anything in me that, that uh, is cause for concern from, uh, from my perspective. The march is over but the fight isn't. Activists encourage everyone concerned to write to their MLA and keep the conversation alive online. People don't want um, to go to the lake five years from now and it to be a, you know, a day at the tailing ponds. They want it to be, you know, still pristine conditions that they expect. It's something Callahan won't walk away from. Kelly Lonahan, CKPG News.